Well, several members of Haiti's delegation to the 2022 Special Olympics in Orlando, Florida, have gone missing. The youngest is 18 years old. Six of them were last seen on June 6th. Local, local authorities, rather, reported a seventh went missing on Sunday. So CBS News national correspondent Manuel Bohorquez is joining us now with more on this. So, Manuel, let's start with the latest news that a seventh member of the delegation is now missing. What can you tell us? Well, this was a 25-year-old man, member of the delegation from Haiti, as you mentioned, who was last seen on Saturday getting off a bus near a Disney resort. He was supposed to fly back to Haiti on Sunday and just hasn't been heard from since. Now, if you read into the, between the lines in a statement that was put out uh, by the Special uh, Olympics Committee of Haiti, it does seem to be that they believe that these men, including the, the, the sixth initial and now the seventh one, uh, may have defected. So essentially that they decided uh, instead of flying back to Haiti to seek this opportunity to try to stay in the United States. So, uh, Manny, as you know, the Special Olympics released a statement after the initial six went missing that says in part, quote, the well-being of these delegates is our foremost concern. Local authorities have indicated they have no reason to believe the health and safety of any of the individuals is at risk. Uh, so, um, I mean, you know, here, the question, of course, is why doesn't the sheriff's office uh, not suspect foul play? Um, this, is, I mean, we've seen stories like this. Yeah. People you know, what's going on in Haiti, and many you know very well, it's practically, it's on the edge of becoming a failed state. Mm -hmm. And so if you have some people who find that there's an opportunity to not return back uh, to the island, they're probably going to take it. That's right. And let's break down a few things here. First, you were talking about the sheriff's office putting out a statement saying no foul play is suspected. It appears that in the case of the initial six that went missing, the coach and the five soccer players, that they turned in their hotel keys. So presumably, but police authorities have been able to piece together how that happened, maybe look through surveillance video, talk to the host, hotel staff, and maybe they realize that these players and the coach did not seem to be in any sort of duress. So apparently left on their own free will. They're not saying that 100 percent just yet, saying that this is an open investigation and they're asking anybody with information still to come forward. But when you look at the big picture that you're talking about here, the violence and the poverty afflicting Haiti, which has been going Going on for so long, but has only worsened in the last few years after the assassination of the head of state and other earthquake that rocked the country just last year, and then the gang violence, the gangs that have taken over the streets where the government has essentially failed. Well, then you understand why somebody who is in this country or in Mexico, which has happened before, where uh, Haitian uh, team members have defected, you would understand why they might seek that opportunity to do it. All right, Manny, always great to talk to you, my friend. Thank you very much.